Now it gives me four more minutes. So let's do chapter five. Chapter five. The son of Moses and the lamb. Then I saw in heaven another. Chapter 15. The son of Moses and the lamb. I saw in heaven another marvelous event of great significance. Seven angels were holding the seven last plagues which would bring God's wrath to completion. I saw before me what seemed to be a glass sea mixed with fire. Be a glass sea mixed with fire. And on, on it stood all the people who had been victorious over the beast and his statue and the number representing his name. They were all holding harps that God had given them. And they were singing the songs of Moses, the servant of God, and the son of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your works, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous deeds have been revealed. The seven bowls of the seven plagues, plagues, plagues. Then I looked and saw that the temple in heaven, God's tabernacle, was thrown wide open. The seven angels who were holding the seven plagues came out of the temple. They were clothed in spotless white linen with gold satchels across their chest. Then one of the four living beings headed, handed each of the seven angels a gold bowl filled with the wrath of God who lives forever and ever the temple was filled with smoke from God's glory and power oh so that's why they put they throw smoke in, in church when we worship mm. the temple was filled with smoke from God's glory and power no one could enter the temple until the seven angels had completed pouring out the seven plagues. Footnote. The seven angels with the bowls of God's judgment are portrayed in these chapters. God's wrath against the unbelieving world will be complete when the angels put out their bowls of plagues over the earth. The day of reckoning will surely arrive, even, through the, through, even though those in denial live as though things will continue forever just as they are we cannot live forever in bondage to sin or a powerful addiction there will be a day when we have to face the truth about our lives we have the opportunity now to submit our lives to god and his good plan before the bottom drops out from under us i like that all right that's it thank you guys for tuning in again I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I hope you all have a wonderful and safe, blessed rest of your night. Much peace, love, and blessings.